What's up everybody? I'm Alexis and this is Danny and today we're learning gamer jargon. I'm a new gamer in the gamer community. That's why we wanted to do this series is so that I could work on my gamer vocabulary, figure out what kind of words you guys are using so that I know how to fit in and understand these games better. Thankfully, Danny has a good understanding of it. That's why she's my teacher. And today we're here to learn three more words. So Danny, what is word number one of today's video? Word number one or phrase number one is point salad. Some of these are really tricky. We've done probably, <laughs> gosh, what is this? Like maybe our eighth video now, Danny? And some of them yes. are like pretty self-explanatory, even for someone like me who's not in the gamer world or, or you know, is just getting into it. And some of them like this, I'm like, who the heck came up with this word? Because I don't understand <laughs> what it could mean. Um, yes, point we are salad. getting more difficult <laughs> as we go. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to guess that this means that um, every time a point is scored by a player in the game, it's up for grabs for everybody. So it's not like you take turns in the game to gain advantages or get points or collect items. It's everybody all at once, all the time has a chance to gain points throughout the game rather than individually taking turns. How how wrong am I, Danny, with my guess? Okay, I wouldn't say you're a hundred percent wrong, but there's a couple of things missing. That's okay. That's okay. what I'm here for. It was a good guess. Okay, so a point salad is a scoring mechanism in game design. So sometimes people will be like, "This is a point salad game," and that means that there is a variety of strategies or methods that you could use to score points. So there's actually a game called Point Salad from AG and Flat Out Games. It's actually on Sovereignty if you want to check it out. But it's a point salad because there's a ton of ways that you can score points and different like uh, like strategies that you might take. So like, for example, on the back of each card, it's going to have a ways that you score points. So for each point card you have, you may have a different strategy. So sometimes we'll play games where everyone ha or a person has all the vegetables. There's six vegetables. And then you might have a variety of different point cards to use those vegetables. Other times, sometimes people have one or two vegetables because they are sticking to that strategy and they're trying to get point cards that will help that specific strategy. So there's different methods of how you can win the game and different strategies you could take. You're not really worried about other people and their point scoring. It's more so just your opportunities to get points just means there's a variety of them. Yeah, a little bit like that. You're a little bit more focused on your strategy, but maybe not always. Okay. Okay, second term is player elimination. What does player elimination mean? All right, this seems kind of self-explanatory to me and I'm gonna yep. throw a game out there that I've played that I think Ooh, falls under this example. category. Bonus yep. point. I know, I'm doing the examples now. I might be wrong, but I think, I think I've got a good idea of this one. So this to me would mean that uh, players drop off throughout the game. So not, you know, you start with six players and you're going to lose players along the way because of moves they make or, you know, certain cards they draw, whatever. Um, and the last player remaining is your winner. I have played a game with my friends um, who we play this quite frequently called Exploding Kittens and players okay. drop off throughout that game because yep. if you pull certain cards or are left with certain cards, um, you are out of the game. And to me, that would be a player elimination game and one yes. that I've played frequently. <laughs> yes, good job. I'm so proud of you. Yay. <laughs> also like Monopoly, if you've ever played Monopoly, it's a mm -hmm. player elimination game because when you become bankrupt, you sure. are out of the game. But that is correct, Alexis. Player cool. elimination is when players lose throughout the game and then they're done. Those are my least favorite kind of games because I'm a sore loser. Yeah. So I need a chance to <laughs> win understand. all the way to the end. If you knock me out five minutes into the game, I'm going to be angry. So I not my favorite type that. of game. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So um, Danny, term number three, what is our final one for the day? I am one for two on the afternoon. All right. The last term of this video is take that. I would think this means you're playing like a trump card or a trump move in a game um, in order to either eliminate players or gain a large advantage over your opponents or to gather more items than the rest of the people in the game if it's an, a game where you're collecting things. Um, so I would think it has to do with either playing some kind of trump card or trump move to gain an advantage over your opponents in the game. Yeah, that's awesome, Alexis. Great job. We're going to give that one to you. Yeah, oh, it's just am, a competitive... Am I Okay. Yeah, it's just a competitive maneuver in a game where you're trying to like, ha, 
take that. So that's kind of like how you would use it in a sentence if you okay. were to actually use the phrase while playing a game. And so the game we always play at game night, we play Sushi Go Party Golf. So this is Sushi Go Party and we made up a golf variant at Sovereignty Game Nights. And how we describe it is it's a take that version of Sushi Go Party. So Sushi Go Party, you're, it's a set collection card game which is a term we've talked about, yep. but you're like, you're just, usually you're just taking cards and you're focusing a little bit more on your own cards, but in the golf version, your goal is to get the lowest score. So we, it kind of like turns it around in your brain where it's like, you're almost trying to like push cards to other people. Cause like you see what they're starting to collect. Like there's a card, it's the eel card. If you have two of them, you get seven points which in golf you don't want because if you have one of them you get negative three so sometimes okay. you will send cards to people that they might have to take so it's like <laughs> it's like a mental thing you're you're really just trying to yeah. help maneuver your opponent yeah. game doesn't necessarily mean you're playing a card where you're like ha now you're out of the game it's just you're yeah. trying to outsmart your opponent essentially exactly it's not always kicking them out of the game sometimes it's just like helping you more than it's helping okay. them you know like it hurts them but it helps you all right, cool. There well, there we go. Three more words. Um, I got two out of the three today. I some videos I get zero. Sometimes I get one. Uh, I think one video I got all three. Two out of yeah. three today. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys learned a few more things as well. Danny, any final thoughts? Uh, did you want to elaborate more on the game you shared earlier, or introduce any new games yeah, to our audience? Absolutely. Okay, so. The three games I'm going to mention are all on the Sovereignty app. It's free to download. There's a link in the description and message us if you have any questions. That's who we are. We're Sovereignty. We have a board game app and we want to spread games to more people. So that's why we're doing this series. So the three games all on Sovereignty app. There's Point Salad, like I mentioned. That is a what game, Alexis? Um, that is a um, Point Salad game. <laughs> point Salad game. Good, good, good. Okay. And then there's Sushi Girl Party Golf is a take that version sushi go party is the one that's on the app it's not going to be take that you have to make it take that by playing the golf version which we will link a video because i made a how to play video and then the last one if you want to try the other mechanic is player elimination this game is called um squirrel or die here you go I'll turn it like that so you can see it squirrel or die it plays super quick and it's a ton of fun and it's player elimination so you go through autumn and you're like planting things in the like backyard and then during the winter phase you're like drawing cards and sometimes you draw death cards and if you draw three death cards then you're out of the game the last squirrel standing is the winner awesome sounds like a fun game and a nice easy one for people to uh, to try out if they want to try one of these terms out today in the game form so danny thank you so much for sharing those with us we hope you guys check them out make sure you go back and watch our past gamer jargon videos if this is the first one you've stumbled upon and subscribe if you like this so that you can always know when a new one is released we do drop new videos of the gamer jargon series on monday so stay tuned and have a good rest of the week guys